Hi Libra, it's Faye. Um, welcome back. I know I haven't been on as regularly as I should be as I have had throat problems yet again. For those that are regulars know all about my throat problems. Um, for those that are just new tuned in, you're very welcome to be here. I hope you can get something out of this. If it doesn't resonate with you, I say the same thing all the time. Please look up your moon sign and your ascendant sign as they may be more relevant to your situation at this particular time. Also, remember this energy is going to be different for everybody. It'll either have already started for you. I mean, I'm doing this in November, but maybe in October it's already moved in. Or it's still to come in. So rather than saying that doesn't mean anything to me, it could still be to happen for you. So let's get started. I'm going to make it as quick as I can, Libra, because um, I've, I've been doing readings all day and I can feel my throat starting to go. Um, I'm Libra and I'm looking at these cards and I'm even thinking about, oh dear, let me think, it doesn't resonate with me at the moment, but who knows, coming into um, December. Right, let's get started. We've got the Page of Swords here. Now this could either be yourself, Libra, um, acting maybe a wee bit immature, possibly, or it just can be another, you know, it could be a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarian. Um, coming in with a message for you. Um, I've got a feeling, listen, this could be, there could be something that's coming in, a message for you that is going to be, um, it's going to take you back, okay, whatever this message is. It could be something that you just weren't expecting because the card right beside it's a death card. So you could be getting a message that something's ended. Don't be, don't be worried about the death card. There's nothing else here to say that um, it's about death. It's not always about death. It means an ending. So you could be getting a message about something that something has ended. Now it could be the ending of a relationship. It could be the ending, maybe you found out they're going to be made redundant. There's something ending. It can also be a good ending. It could be the ending of troubles. But looking at the rest of my cards, I'm not quite so sure. Um... And it's making me feel a wee bit, hmm, but there's an ending coming in anyway. Now we've got this Five of Swords here, and the Five of Swords, we, don't, we know, that depicts being triumphant in something, but with it being a five, it's almost like a battle that shouldn't have been done, or some kind of issue that was a bit petty, and okay, you have became triumphant in it, you've, you know, us Libras have got our... You know, we can be quite articulate and speak with our mind and say what we want to have to say. But be careful that you're not hurt, that you're not stabbing other people in the process by your words. Because I know, like, you know, it, it can be that you are going to be triumphant in argument or uh, some kind of situation. But at what cost? You, you may be right in something, but, but with you being right in something... Other people are losing. So say say you're a business person. I'm going to give you a for instance here just to clarify what I'm trying to say. You know that you have to cut, cut costs. You know that. And to cut costs, you're going to have to let people go. So you're triumphant in sorting out your, the finances. But other people have lost their jobs. That kind of idea. So be careful of... What it is that your bat pick your battles wisely. If you feel maybe um, there's a there's a relationship that's ended because of something that was said or done, think about the other the other people that are involved in that. There could be children involved, so there's going to be somebody losing out, whatever it is, it's, whatever it is that's, that's going ar around you, there's going to be losers in it. It's not going to be you, because you're the triumphant one here, but other people are going to lose out. And I think this is going to lead on to you maybe feeling a bit guilty, Libra. That's why I'm telling you, be careful. Choose your battles wisely, because you may not be able to live. If you're, if you're anything like me and a bit of an empath, you just, you know, it'll, it'll hurt you more than it hurts other people. Um, and other people don't always get that when you've been empathic, if you're an, an empath. You, te you tend to take on the burdens that other people would think, does it really matter? Well, yeah, it, it can be something that can, you can carry for years. 
and I feel that maybe you're going to go through a period of um, a bit of sleepless nights through this situation. This situation is going to um, maybe make you feel that you, you have to confront, they have to maybe go back and confront this, this situation. It's maybe ended for these people, but it's not ended for you. And that's the hard part. They maybe feel that it's um, that it's over with as an ending, but there's a residue left that you have to get sorted. That sounds really. Uh, this is really strange. Um, it seems a really strange message. But we have the five of wands here as well, which is quarrels. Or. It can also, just even I see along here with the Nine of Swords and the Five of Wands, it doesn't have to be quarrels other people, it could be you and an inner turmoil. And I think this is what is leading to the, the sleepless nights. You have got a lot of inner turmoil going on with you at the moment, Libra, and I don't know what it is. There's something that you are, you're getting pulled in all sorts of directions. That you don't know what way to go. It would seem that this ending that's happened, this this message of an ending, is causing a lot of turmoil within you. It could be that you're in a relationship that wasn't that great and it ended. But for some reason, maybe it was a relationship you were in for like 20 years, but some, for some reason this turmoil of, you know, it's like a death if you like, literally, even though it's maybe a, a separation, a divorce, it feels like part that's part of your history gone. This is too specific, I don't know who, if someone, someone that is listening to this can really relate to it because it's very specific. I pulled another card because of all these kind of fighting and energy crazy cards here and it's Ace of Wands and I think that a new beginning is coming in for you. After all this turmoil that's happened, the sleepless nights, the, the argumentative feeling energy around you and this kind of you, you not feeling within yourself that, um, that you know what you're doing is right, it's going to be a new beginning. Something's going to get offered. Something's going to get offered, whether it be um, a new passionate love or even just something as simple as a new job. It could have been that you had to give up your job for whatever reason, but something new is coming in. That was so strange. I'm sorry about that, Libra. It was a very mixed bag of a message. And I think sometimes because I'm Libra and I'm reading it and I'm thinking, I, I wonder where this is going. The love card that I drew was make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So listen to your intuition when it comes to your relationships. If you're in a relationship, then listen to um, listen to how to make a more of an effort. Because I think a lot of times, if you're, especially if you're in a, a long-term relationship, we can take our partners for granted and our partners can take us for granted. So I think it's a time to maybe try, and, try something new. Try something new with your partner. If you're not in a relationship, then it's make the effort. Get yourself out there. Get on a nap, one of these date naps. Um, or, I don't know, how do people make their date naps? I don't know. Whatever it is that floats your boat, it's time for you to start. So I hope you enjoyed that, Libra. I know it was a bit of a mixed bag. It was quite, it was quite confusing for me as well. I feel that I need to recap it. Something's ending through something you've been told. It's going to cause some kind of chaos. But a new beginning's going to start for you. So hope to see you all later in the month of November. If I can't get back on by the end of November, then I will definitely see you in December. So, speak to everybody later. Bye-bye.